Hey guys, um, welcome to this week's tutorial. I'm going to show you guys um, two little tricks to help with your digital painting. Um, the first trick will be um, value separation technique and the second trick will be to use the pen tool for selection as opposed to the, I think, the more commonly used um, lasso tool which has some limitations. So let's talk about the first trick. Uh, when will we need to do um, value separation? Um, it's particularly useful when we want to do things like um, when we are working from silhouettes right when we draw when we draw something like um, a cube so how do we draw a cube we draw a cube like this sometimes we work on we use silhouettes to create our designs maybe we draw some some spaceship or something with some wings and some engines big engines or whatever things like that and then we want to do some um, value separation we can use this little trick here which is to use the lasso tool or any kind of selection tool and then draw in the area you want to make brighter So for example this area and then we use the dodge tool to just lightly brush over and then we'll get a value separation. So why do we need to do this? Uh, we do this to describe light, right? So when the light, let's draw a torch light here, when the light hits here, this light will be brighter. And maybe this light will also be brighter because of um, various bounce lights that come from here and then this light will be darker. So let's also let's do the trick again for this face. And then we also use the dodge tool, but maybe lesser percentage now. And you see we have um, quickly described the uh, uh, 3D form just using um, this value separation technique. So for example, let's let's do up this spaceship real quick show you what can really be done in this oh, let's turn this into a big single engine thing so okay we have our okay so we have <coughs> we have our spaceship here but um for example we use the we'll use the same light source right so we draw a torch light here torch light Ding, ding, ding. So light source will hit the surface here and we want to describe that this surface is shinier like areas over here will be shinier so we don't need to use the lasso tool for this because we can just dodge it directly here right and then we get this form but what happens when we want to do this particular area over here this area rough out a design of some sort here what happens when you want to rough out this area here there's there's no form description or whatever over here so we need to use the selection tool and create something like this and then we can use the dodge tool and we dodge it up so yeah so that's how we do um, this is the little trick that can help with your digital painting and it doesn't only apply to the dodge tool it can also be applied to the um, the, the the burn tool so for example uh, under, under this area it should get some shadow so we use the burn tool instead and then we'll burn this area so it just gives the illusion that oh yeah this 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 piece is above this piece and then we can always draw some stuff to connect this Maybe there's some bars and beams and stuff like that so yeah so this is how we can this technique can be applied so let's take a look at how this can be applied onto um, this other concept this is some space vehicle here but it it kind of needs um this this surface here is let's just grab a red paintbrush this surface here is uh, is rounded, right? It's rounded, like this. But uh, let's 
for example if I want to get it really sharp really sharp like this let's um, make the changes now so let, let, let's get this super sharp just um, just rough drawing um, but so we, we have this um, we have this um, super sharp edge going on but we don't have any value separation of uh, let's grab a red pen from this surface compared to this surface right what we want to describe is that this this piece here is like this So we want to describe that this is receiving more light than as of course opposed to the bottom side. So what we can do is to use the lasso tool and select this area here and then use the dodge tool to lighten this area. So I'm, I'm overdoing it slightly just so you can see the effect. So you can see that there's a value separation. So we have successfully described a 3D form uh, without um, without um, too much hassle and um, using this technique. So let's just let's just do that again. So I think th the question here is uh, why do we want to use the dodge tool? Why not? We, why not? Why don't we just um, apply some paint? Uh, the thing about applying paint is um, because we have some kind of uh, texture that's g already going on here so if we have to apply like for example maybe th this this color here and we apply some paint you see it actually washes out the detail on our our, our our surface here so what we want to do is to retain that detail so we can use a dodge tool which will which when used sparingly will, will create uh, the desired effect but dodge 2 has the tendency to create some ugly colors like funky colors when it gets to the higher value so we want to be careful when using the this tool but when you um, carefully uh, it can be quite effective in uh, describing this 3d surface so let's um, take a look at maybe uh, another area here so maybe it's the same thing here you want to say that this you want to say that this is going on. Oh, that wasn't my brush. I'm um, going to say that this receives more light than this because this is directly facing downwards. So it's already a little bit suggested here, but we can further, I mean, enhance it by adding some dodge. And there we have. Uh, this, so this will be a. a an example of how it can be used in a real scenario. So I've did the same tricks over here, over here, these are all the same tricks. Especially useful when um, you have gotten all your details laid out and then you want to do some final value separation to, to make things more readable. For example areas like here. This could go darker. We'll take this out of the selection. And we can use the burn tool. And there we have it. We got this um, more separated um, further back leg. But be careful because uh, I, my, my brush was too big and I affected these areas here. So back to um, using the pen tool as a selection tool. Okay, the trouble comes when and our hands are not steady enough for certain certain uh, se selection. For for example, um, we have the free freehand lasso tool, right? We have the freehand lasso tool. We have the magnetic lasso tool, which if it does a good job, we wouldn't. Yeah, it doesn't do a good job. So you can see that it actually. Um, yeah, especially if the values are too close, it's very difficult for the computer to guess. Um, what you're trying to select. So it has uh, the magnetic lasso tool has its limitations. And of course, um, this uh, angular lasso tool 
it's uh, all straight lines so we cannot navigate these areas uh, unless we click a thousand times but it's still not accurate uh, it's still a faceted so we use the freehand lasso tool for the most part but it doesn't get quite as accurate and and it's difficult when we're covering such a big surface area so we can so it's still wobbly oh, uh, as we make the selection so what we can do is to use the pen tool so the pen tool will give us um, a lot of control here so for example this is a sharp point so we just click once and then this is a curved surface we click and drag this is a sharp point we click once this is a curved surface we click and drag this is a sharp, this is a sharp surface Curved surface, click and drag, sharp surface, curved surface, click and drag, curved surface, click and drag, sharp surface, and it's a curved surface, click and drag, curved surface, curved surface, and sharp surface. And when we're done with this selection, let's just uh, start from here, for example. Curved surface and we'll end it off. So when we're done for our selection with the pen tool, we'll just hit uh, Control enter on the keyboard and it creates a selection. Yay! So the good thing about this, uh, as, you, as you guys have already uh, seen, that it's uh, you have a lot of control. And of course, before we press Control enter we can always hold Control and click on these points and we can move them. So for example, we want to refine this edge, maybe maybe when it go out or go in a little bit more, we can do that. Uh, we can click on the handles to adjust the, the, the tangents of the, the curve. So yeah, we have all the advantages of the pen tool. And we can create a selection out of it. So we can also use the pen tool to deselect stuff. So for example, I want to extract um, this, this panel over here. So just click somewhere outside, click here. Just navigate around this area. And just click back here. And so this will be my second path. So what I will do now is to subtract it from my current selection. So I'll hit instead of control enter, which will make the selection, I will hit control alternate enter, which will Alternate will subtract it from the selection. So there, so I can make some color changes or whatnot to this area. So as we can see, we can ex um, so it's affecting also the background. So okay, let's do that. So I'm creating my lasso here. Lots of control. doing this quickly so you guys won't be bored so it's this, this kind of stuff is uh, difficult to do with the uh, freehand so we have this so we press a uh, control alternate enter it will extract this from the selection so what happens if we want to add to the selection? Um, some of you may have guessed it, is to hold shift instead of alternate. So let's say we want to add in this piece back in. So we will just draw our selection as we will normally do. Yep, that's it. So I press Control Enter. That was a mistake. So I'll press uh, Control Shift Enter, and that will and that will add it to our selection. So yeah, we can now control the color of this piece now. We get it to some funky purple, something like that. Yeah. So so let's do a quick recap. So, so today we have gone through um, uh, one, a uh, simple value separation technique. So let's just uh, take it here. 
yay and we also have uh, gone through how to use the pen tool for selection because it's it's really good right let me just um write some notes here it's uh control plus enter to convert the uh, selection from a from a path to so path to selection so the same thing so plus alternate will subtract from the selection subtract plus shift will add to the selection add to selection right, so let's just um, move this over right okay I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and hope you guys have learned something and yeah hope it helps in your digital painting process so i'll see you guys next time bye oh wait yes if you have any questions um please feel free to leave it in the comments below if you see any tricks um, from my other paintings that you want to know in detail how to do them uh, you can just leave me a message so thanks for sticking around till the end of the video and i'll see you guys in the next um, video bye